Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to another late night here on the East Coast. How y'all doing? Hopefully pretty good. Uh, so I don't know if the, the computer's working better now or what, but um, I booted up the game, and it actually booted up in like 10 seconds, not even, which is unusual for my computer. Remember that I could play game, and I'm like, yeah, I'll be back. Either way, the oil. The iron clad. So he's got some HP. Uh, it's pretty cool. Same health as everybody, or er, money as everyone else. And uh, he heals in between fights, which is pretty sweet. Um, I like that. So. I'd say, you know, I, I you know, I don't have tons of, like, playtime in this game or nothing like that. I would not say that I... Um, have had more successful runs with the Ironclad than, say, the Silent, which I, I tend to do quite well. It's just the playstyle works a little better for me. Um, but I think the Ironclad is the stronger character. This is the last character. It's technically the first character, Vox, but I'd already played it before uh, and beat the stuff with it, so. Hello again, Mr. Meow. Um, Transformer card is always fun. Uh, like, this character to me has one of, like, the strongest starting relics. <laughs> it's really good. Just, oh, that looks new. I don't remember that. I don't know if that was, like, an update that happened. That's who played last, but either way. Um, Burning Blood, at the end of combat, heals 6 HP. So, it's just, that's pretty strong. Pretty good survivability there. Because sometimes you take a fight and you don't take any damage. And that's, that's good. Um... It's a free block for... S it's also new. Um, okay, I'm got slime boss, which is fun. Phew, I think we transform a card. A lot of fun stuff can happen, uh, and I think it's going to be... Strike. We have a lot of strikes. And go. Reaper. You'll forward... Oh. Yeah, the read is right. Before damage to all enemies, heal HP equal to unblock damage and exhaust. That's pretty fun. I don't know if that's a great card, but it, it is a card. Um, I don't really know what's up with Fireboy. Should we try it? Because we can heal after. Um, and we can take a shop as well. Okay. Let's do that. Nice. Um, kind of the weird thing here about Reaper is I don't necessarily want to heal. Like, doing four damage to both these guys is pretty good. But, like, I'm full health, so healing doesn't really do shit. We'll probably... I'm thinking... Eh, we'll take a hit. Uh, I could have definitely attacked this guy. <laughs> Killed him. Whoops. It's going to be a little harder to do that now that we're weakened. So, good good start. Yeah. That's awkward. Well, maybe we'll, we'll eat their health. We'll pretend it was intentional. Uh, I think Lick makes us frail. Off to a good start then, though. I'm already somewhat out of it. Delicious HP. Nice. So what's new with you guys? Shloimed. Ooh. So we take five damage here, but if we beat the fight, we heal six, so. That's what I mean. They're they're very it's like you can play very aggressively with this class. Which is cool. Uh, well, Perfected Strike is one of my favorite cards of all time. Because it's just ridiculous. Oh, this feels like it got nerfed. I don't remember it being a 2 cost. <laughs> anyway, how it works is it's 6 damage, then 2 additional damage for all your cards containing Strike. Uh, so we have 4 right now, so that would be an additional 8 damage. That's 14. 
that's okay. Um, this is a weird one. I feel like this has been nerfed a lot. Because I used to reliably get like 40 damage out of this thing. Like early on. Uh, granted, we did we did lose a strike for Reaper. Uh, maybe we take Rage here. Are we playing attack this turn, gain three block? I don't know. I'm not crazy about that either. But that's still it's pretty interesting. Yeah, let's go with Rage. I've never taken Rage before, and I know I've taken Perfected Strike, and it looks like it's been nerfed to the ground. So we'll see how that works out for us. Come across an inconsistent. Yeah, we always take. You always take this idol, and I will take 20 damage. It's fine. So we'll, we'll heal that up by fighting stuff. Um. Yeah, so this is neat. Hmm. This might end up working out, actually. Nothing super new to speak of that you can think of? Oh. Um, well... The heat has been stupid. Um... So as we all know, I, I haven't been sleeping at all for like over a month. Um, not that I, I slept much to begin with, but the point is, yeah, things have been kind of rough in that regard. Um, and, and to add to that tiredness, it's been hot, 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 hot. Like, you know, 30 some degrees every day uh, for the last three days. Plus it's been raining and when it's not raining, it's over 90% humidity. So it's just been kind of stupid. Four and three, that's a ring. Just uh, heal for three, but we're only healing for two because we're taking some damage here. That weakens kind of, kind of shit. Uh, and then last night, um, I had game night, which was uh, interesting, but good. So, he is killer. It's stupid, yeah. Whenever you lose HP from a card, gain one strength. No, thank you. Clash. Can only be played if every card in your hand is an attack. 14 damage. Or Thunderclap. You'll four damage and apply one vulnerable to all enemies. That seems pretty good. Vulnerable is very good. AoE is very good. Uh, before you lies an elaborate shrine to Forgotten Spirit, pray and remove a card from your deck. Uh, since we know we're not going strike. Although it's kind of funny because actually. Rage and attacking is almost as good as defending. Um, but having defense is really good. You know, that's, that's a tough one. I feel like if I get rid of too much defense, I'm going to be crying. Well, let's get rid of one here. Maybe we can get some cards going. It has been like like years since I played the Ironclad, so we we need to kind of remember the pro strats, right? What are the good cards? Three turns of vulnerable. Very good. Power is unmatched. We'll see about that, pal. I think there is actually something interesting to be said about getting rid of all my defense and maybe getting a couple more rage cards if we can find them. And just going ham every single turn. Uh, it's not a build I've done, but it's it's a build that I, I, I find very interesting. Currently. Um, sucks we had to take damage here. But can we heal back some of this? My powers were matched. Uh, twin strikes, good. Twin strike is insanely good. If you uh, like, you take that perfected strike card because again, it counts as a strike card. So, 
It's pretty good. Clothesline, though. 12 damage, 2 weak. That's pretty good damage. Um, it's just, we have a lot of 2 cost cards floating around now. That's kind of spooking me. You know? It's kind of spooking me. But I do think Clothesline is a good card. Just throwing debuffs on your opponent is nice. Hmm. We don't have any way to get energy right now. We're already struggling for that. I think we have to pass on it. Let's see what this guy is. Max HP plus 10. Holy fuck. Okay. Alright. So apparently fire just means uh, super tough enemies. Who knew? So if we ever see a fiery elite, it means they're going to be buffs. Which is worrisome. I wonder if you get more money for it though, or something. Like maybe uh, an extra card you can loot. Uh, that heals 12 damage. Uh, yeah, I think that's the play here. Thunderclap. Heal for 12. Or, yeah, I guess you can heal more because we have the vulnerable in this guy, so 14. Not bad. Doesn't quite soak up all this damage. It's close. Nice. Yeah, I'm liking Rage. I'm feeling we either buff our rage or we try to get more rage. We try and get like some zero cost um, attacks, maybe. Would be good. We're actually doing a lot better in this fight than I feel like we should. Well, you know, this this turn just shit on that, of course. Every day's card, but you do. Thunderclap. When the clap isn't bad enough. Hear that ass clapboard. Um, we're gonna hope for Thunderclap again. I'm not gonna attack this guy, actually. You're gonna throw the big bad bash onto this boy. And uh, just a single attack here. This is a gamble, because he attacks next turn. Uh, but the odds we get a strike or a Thunderclap are pretty good. Maybe not. There's a lot of days to my deck. Yeah. Oopsie. Well, you know. What can you do? That happens. Jesus! Just remember, any enemy that adds cards to your deck is first and foremost a bastard. Right? Like, that's, that's just the goddamn truth. Um, but more than just being a bastard, they're so much stronger the less cards you have. So the earlier on you fight this elite, especially this version of it that has like 10,000 fucking HP, the harder it is for you to, to fight. Whereas enemies that debuff are just universally a pain in the ass. Yeah, cool. Might. Yeah, there, there's kind of, there's literally nothing we can do here, unfortunately. Um, we just drew badly, and again, day's cards, fuck you. That's okay. We weren't getting any good cards either. Hey, Yanks, did they super fucking nerf uh, Perfected Strike? I don't mind elites so Bard. It's because we fought a super elite. They had like this fire on them, which I don't know what that means. A new mechanic. Enemies in the next three combats have one HP. It perfected strike looks like it got dumpstered. Cause I, I like I remember like getting perfected strike and having like like at least 30 damage with it. Uh, but now it's like 
like 14 or something. Like base, and you're like, oh, okay. I mean, you you do have to build into it, right? But yeah, okay. So we can go for an early shop, which I'm never crazy about. Uh, it's like I always want to have a fair amount of cash. Well, let's go to this left side. We can either go to a shop or we could get an upgrade. Uh, and then maybe we could try that fire elite again and see what happens. X3 combats have 1 HP. Um, there's no way to cheese that. Well, maybe. It's possible you can cheese an elite, but that's okay. I don't really care. Um... Max HP plus 8 is decent with this guy, so you can do some HP stuff, I think. Hello, Mr. Jawworm. Wow, that's a fucking hella first turn. 11 buckaroos. This guy is a real asshole today. I mean, assuming I don't lose too much HP in every fight, it's it's better to have the permanent plus HP. Um, but of course, yeah, that all depends how much health you lose in a fight. Cool headbutt. Um, ooh, okay, we got some fun things here. So anger, deal six damage, add a copy of this card into your discard pile. That's that's a fucking scuzzy card. I don't know how I feel about anger. Uh, headbutt, deal nine damage, put a card from your discard pile on top of your draw pile. I like that. It's a better strike, and it's a strike that lets us cycle things in fun ways. Uh, especially when we get bad turns like this. And like to have more strikes in our deck. Cool. That's one hell of a hand. Ouch. Ya bastard. Uh, should be able to scuzz this guy, yeah. More strikes here? Have some. Flame Barrier, 12 block, huge. Whenever you attack this turn, deal 4 damage back. That's pretty cool. Bloodletting, lose 3 HP, gain 1 energy or 2 energy, potentially. That's fun. I think Flame Barrier, though. That seems very strong. We meet again. A cheery, disheveled fellow approaches you gleefully. Do not know this man. It's me, Ranwid. Be any goods for me? The usual? A fellow like me can't make it alone, you know. Do I am suspiciously and consider your options. We can give him 79 gold to get a relic. It means we're not buying anything at the shop, but sure. Whenever you play a power, heal 2 HP. Right, literally never happening. Magnificent! This would be quite handy if I run in those mask wearing hoodlums again. Um, I assume he means the vampires? I'm not sure. He rummages around his various pockets. Here, look what I've got for you today. Take it, take it. Cool. Alright. Flame Barrier is quite good, actually. I like that quite a bit. Uh, I don't like it enough to cast it two turns in a row when the enemy's not attacking. But... Clash can only be played if every card in your hand is an attack. Neat. 
Deal 12 damage can be upgraded any number of times. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's really interesting. It's 4 damage every time. I'm not sold on that. <laughs> uh, but it's kind of fun. It's probably seeing red here. Paying energy to get two, and you can upgrade it so it's free. It takes up a, a card in your hand. Might be able to buy like a cheap card. Anchor's nice. Alice's nice. Clothesline. Huh. Yeah, that's okay, I guess. There's some cool stuff we passed up. But... Mayhem. Um, probably Spike Slime, I think we take out first. Although Jawworm just starts buffing himself. This is actually a nasty little fight for early on, but whatever. We'll survive. Potentially. It's not what I would consider the turn you want to have seeing red and flame barrier run. That's okay. Jawworm's a piece of shit, yeah. Red's a pretty bad card draw, RNG. But that is part of the game, fortunately. And we're surviving, just that's that's a little shitty. Bust. At the end of your turn, lose 1 HP and deal 5 damage to all enemies. Um, that's interesting. I don't even think that's bad. Rupture of Blood Sacrifice. I kind of, I kind of like this combust here. Let's try it. Who knows? It seems like an interesting one, though. Okay, perfect, perfect turn. Oh, shit, bastards! Uh, I think this guy attacks you for three turns, though, and then tries to run. We gotta hope we have our sweet deeps. Oh man. I think we have to go ham. Well, maybe not. I just don't think I can kill him. Otherwise, unfortunately. Yeah, that's good. There's there's the turn we needed. Okay. Lunge. I think now he tries to defend and then run away. Yeah. Cool. Not bad. We're still keeping our HP up. Armaments. Gain 5 block, upgrade a card in your hand for the rest of combat. This is, like, good. And upgraded upgrades all cards in your hand. This is very good. Body slam. Deal damage equal to your block. With zero cost, that's fun. Uh, we're definitely not doing reckless charge. These are both fun. Oof. Flame barriers upgrade. It's good. Um, I kind of feel like body slam actually. If we get this in a turn with um flame barrier, we do a shitload of damage. If we get this in a normal turn, we can do some fun stuff. And right now. We haven't decided whether we're an offensive deck or a defensive deck. Uh, this is very good defense, but utility purposes. 
would work defensively. Either or. Like, those sort of just work. I think... I'm thinking Baudishlam. But we're gonna try and fight this uh, fiery elite boy. And potentially lose the run. But at least see what happens. Um... Wow, this isn't even the elite. Okay. It's just, it's just a rat bastard. 16 damage? Nah, it's fine. It's interesting how the body slam tells you how much damage you're going to do with it. That's kind of cool. And we should get a pretty good split on this guy, which is nice. Um, potentially get a really good one. I think we want to do Baish. In. Nice. If it's zero cost, even if it does zero damage, it still counts as an attack for Kunai or Shuriken type relics. Oh. Does it count for Pendib? Presumably. Because that is super interesting. Like that. Skills cost zero whenever you play a skill exhausted. No thank you. Corruption is pretty interesting though. I've, I've used this before in like an attack heavy build just to cycle shit through. It's fun. Sword Boomerang's not bad. One cost. The bouncing's fun. Spin Strike's objectively better. Even upgraded. Something to be said for Twin Strike. We don't really have... I, I don't think I don't think going twin strike is bad here. Because it's just a better strike, but not by much. So here's the thing, before I upgrade twin strike, which I may never, I'm I'm really just doing four more damage once and I have 15 cards in my deck which means I do four more damage like once every three turns potentially if I would have played a strike in that turn you know what you didn't sell me on that game you didn't sell me on that what do you got though runic dodecahedron if your hp is full gain energy at the start of your turn that's cool linked Obtaining this item will remove the sapphire key. I don't think we're ever... Uh, we're never going to have full HP probably do the combust. So let's take sapphire key. Oh, that's what that does. Nito Benito. We have no AOEO. And we're going to get shit wrecked. Um, which is maybe okay. I remember the wizard being a real bastard, actually. Uh, although taking out some of the damage. Negative effects suck. Hmm. Lots of damage sucks. I mean, do we eat a bunch of damage this turn? When we're going into an elite fight, we throw everything in the gremlin wizard. This is a toughie. Uh, we could take out shield gremlin as well. I feel like the correct use is this. If I had defense, this turn would change drastically. But I remember Gremlin Wizard really, really sucking. Once he gets full charge and stuff. 
Um, so let's combust. Five damage every turn to all the enemies. I think we, I, we still throw the bash out here. And we're just going to eat this uh, four damage. That's okay. Here it comes! Yeah, 25. Christ in hell. Um... So I can do 10, 6, so 22, not quite enough. We can flame barrier. That sucks. Uh, we're going into the elite fight with a little bit of pain. Headed our way. Well, their block doesn't dissipate between turns. Or... Seem a little fucky. Anyway. Okay. Limit break. Double your strength and exhaust. Wowza. <laughs> Straight up double your strength. I have no way of gaining strength, but that's super fun. I kind of love that. Uh, headbutt's good, because then we can keep cycling things like our flame barrier and stuff back to us. Because those are going to be like the crux of our strat. I kind of, like, I like the idea of this. Yeah. Again, um, I'm one of those people I'd rather science and die. And I, th I think that sounds fun to me. It might not be the right call, but it's the call I want to make. Holy shit. Oh, they all deal two more damage. Okay. Nice. So we... Um, there is a relic that gives plus one or plus two strength. Barja. We want to keep our eyes peeled for that. Um, or any cards that give, uh, you know, an amount of strength. Doesn't matter we lose this bullshit again? No, I think we're fine. We, we have a much better deck this time. It's gonna be rough, but... Yeah, I think we're gonna be okay. We got Flame Barrier going in the next turn, which is excellent. So, we're just going to AoE him down with Combust. No problem, eh? Like, as long as we can defend, we're good. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and pop our Speed Potion here. We need a shitload of block. This guy actually dies in two turns, so we'll let him live. So he can suffer. And then next turn, this guy just dies. This guy's pretty much dead, and yeah, so this fight's over. Nice. Nice! We just needed some more cards last time, Borrowed. We went into that unprepared. Granted, I, I didn't know what the fight was going to be. Um, I shouldn't have flame barriered here, actually. Because this guy doesn't use his attack next turn, but that's fine. Sure. Okay, not bad. Prevent the first time you lose HP each combat. Wow. That's good. Draw three cards, you cannot draw additional cards this turn. Uh, it's actually, that's, uh, wow, th I think that's pretty good. Thunder, I like Thunderclap a lot, though. I like just being able to drop a little AoE vulnerable and stuff. Uh, I like Battle Trance. It's fun. 
Get a little card draw for free. Inner corridor full of hypnotizing colored mushrooms. Oh, we can either heal and get Parasite. Or we can stomp and anger the mushrooms. <laughs> Due to your lack of specialization in mycology, you're unable to identify the specimens. You want to escape, but feel oddly compelled to eat a mushroom. Let's stomp and piss these guys off. Nice, that's, that's a good first turn. I like that. Oh, wow, that's some anti-synergy. Fossilized Helix prevents the one health of Combust. That makes sense. I don't hate the game for that. But it makes me sad. Uh, we kind of want to kill them around the same time. So we got options here. In two turns, I kill all of them. Um, the question is, do I want to wait that long? <laughs> Turns out I don't have to. Nice. That's not bad. Odd Mushroom. When vulnerable, take 25% more attack damage rather than 50. That's pretty good, actually. I like that. Shrug it off. Card draw is nice. Block is nice. In seven block, exhaust a random card from your hand. Uh, exhaust any card in your hand. Interesting. I think shrug it off is the play here. More card draw, more big block cards. Uh, no, no. So. Um, whenever I'm vulnerable, instead of taking 50% more damage, I only take 25%. So instead of, you know, well, you, you know exactly what that means. Recall and obtain the ruby key. That's fine, thanks. I think we just want to, actually, I kind of feel like upgrading combust is pretty good. And it's slime boss, so the AoE will help. That's it, flame barrier is, like, dope. Like, that is value for money. 16 block, and you deal 6 damage back when you're hit. Um, I'm... Uh, I'm thinking combust. It's been pretty good. wonder if we can do slime boss on 36 HP. It's possible. Anything's possible. shouldn't get the money if you fully block the damage. Well, I, I, yeah, I get what you mean, but he is, he is taking money out of your purse somehow. It just doesn't hurt when he does it. What do you think? Can we do, I think we can do the, the boss on this. Okay, metallicize at the end of your turn getting three block. Yes. That's, yep. Exhaust one card, draw two cards. That's going to be metallicized though. That's pretty huge. And we're gonna, I think, since we have the option here, I I almost feel like metallicize now that we've got it, but Flame Barrier just seems like too good of a pick. Because it is too energy. It's like when you use it, you want that turn to fucking matter. Wow, that nice. I like getting that on turn one. Since you have the option sleep, you never, never borrowed. You gotta kind of be sleeping. 
we sleep, we're just wasting time and money and all that good shit. Yeah, this is this is a good turn actually. So one, two. Yeah, no, we're getting our combustion, don't worry. Just sucks that we're we're not gonna have our flame barrier for this. <laughs> that's a little awkward. That's uh that's a lot of little awkwards. So we can do ten damage here. And shark on. So let's drop a dex potion in. Block for a little more, which is nice. Uh, and more importantly, uh, deal a little more damage. Oh, we survived. That's the important thing. The exciting thing, too, about this... Hmm. Shrug it off. What do you got? Okay, another pen. Okay, so he's gonna split at 54. Don't love it, but we don't have a choice. At least they're not attacking this turn. Yet. I don't know which of these is more annoying. Probably the one that... I think he adds crap to your deck. I think this one's just an asshole. Oh no, they both lick. Okay. Oh, one weakens your attack. One makes you walk for less. Which, that's fine. Uh, this is gonna split them, I think, right? Turns out it's not too bad for us. Probably should hit this one. It's okay. Okay, that's more what I wanted to see. Really? That's interesting that Body Slam also gets weakened. Make, like, it is an attack, so that does make sense. But it's a little shitty. I was expecting it to do the, the full damage. So it's like, Body Slam gets shit on if you're frail and weakened. As it's getting diminishing returns twice. And this, we just gotta survive. Uh, it turns out that's harder to do than you might like. Not bad. Not bad for the boss. In the bank. That's right, boys. We got this. Not a problem. Y'all were worried. Hey, oh, you need to sleep. No, 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 no. We, we, greed is good. Okay, Fiendfire is a card I have tried so many times to use. I love this card. It's garbage, though. But it is fun. Uh, feed is interesting. Deal 10 damage. If this kills a non-minion enemy, raise your max HP by 3. Exhaust. Situational. Interesting. Fiendfire is so fucking fun. I mean, it's it's pretty shit. Right? Realistically, upgraded. That is a 40 damage turn. <sighs> Fiend Fire is so fun. But the problem is you always get it on the worst turns. Um, Fiend is interesting, though. 10 damage. I think we skip. I don't see anything I want here. 
I mean, more max HP is cool. But, skip. Okay, uh, you can no longer rest. Right. Uh, you gain one energy at the start of your turn. At the start of combat, shuffle two wounds into your draw pile. Hmm. No longer obtain potions. That's uh, the least bad. Potions are good, but we already have two decent potions. No, well, that's the thing, Borrowed. Fiendfire is incredible in theory, but you usually don't draw it in a hand that you want to get rid of stuff. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I, I like it, though. I just... Yeah. It's either going to be no resting or no potions. I don't use potions enough as is. So let's do it. That said, I don't usually rest either. So I don't know what this boss is, actually. I don't recognize that. That's okay. Um... Yes. Yes. Can we do two shops? Yeah. Okay, we're doing two shops. Uh, we don't get an elite if we do that? No. Is there any way for two shops and an elite? Yeah. No, there's not. Okay, because I really need to start removing cards. Um, maybe, like, we already have four energy. We're probably fine. Relics. Well, that's actually this is a great turn. It's exactly what you want. Um, it sucks because that's going to take my buffer proc. But... Nice, good start. Good start. Elites are overrated. Uh, no, I, I like fighting them. I'm, I'm all about that life. Whenever you play a non-attack card. Oh yeah, true. Nine, 18, 27, seven from that. Not quite enough. Um, That's eight block. We're only yeah. Twenty seven plus seven. Three. Fuck you, Sozu. It's fine. <laughs> I gave you that power. Um Five block, five damage. <laughs> I think this card's bad. Armaments is fun because we are doing a uh, a defendo deck. Sure. Now we can upgrade all our stuff, which lets us worry more about um, more important things. Oh, you get the pick which card you upgrade. Oh, that's much better than I thought it was. Okay, I thought it was a random card in your hand. That's actually like crazy good. I mean, it's gonna be better once we just have it so it upgrades the whole hand. But. Hey, 
that's fine. No, I'm liking this. I'm liking this little strat we got. Um, I would love to see... I would love to see another flame barrier. Until then, demon form. At the start of your turn, gain two strength. That's that has to be a thing, right? <laughs> um, I don't know if this is the good pick, but goddamn, that's a pick. If we can get that up and running, uh, and then upgrade limit break, gee gee. All right, you little shit bastard. Got for me, and we're actually getting value out of our. Uh, whenever you play power card, heal some HP now. This is a nasty fight. Never really liked this one. Slam sounds fun. So what we would like to see is like maybe more body slams, metallicize, stuff like that. Um, I mean this is just this lets us do this, right? Which is pretty fun. I don't think we have any zero cost, so yeah, I don't wanna fuck with that. Barricade, what's that one? Well, you don't lose block between turns, right? Yeah, that'd be good. That'd be good. Unfortunately... Well, I guess this is the demon form hand. I was gonna be like, this is not the demon form hand. But I don't have a fucking choice, I just gotta eat shit this turn. So, that's fine. Not bad. Flex. Gain two strength at the end of this turn. Lose two strength. Very interesting when you can double that. That is a trap. We're not doing it. But this is a goddamn trap. Um, cost one less energy each time you lose HP this combat. Pretty good. With combust? Blood for blood I think is pretty good actually. Let's do that. Oh, fucker. Okay, not, not the worst. Yes. Yes. The nice thing about starting with buffer as a Fossilized Helix is you can have an opening turn where you play all your powers because you don't take damage from the first hit anyway. This is for almost an elite fight in itself. I don't know. I don't. I don't feel like this fight's quite as bad as you make it out to be, borrowed, But yeah, it can be a little rough. I, I think it, it's kind of nice because you really just focus on the Centurion, and it's. Just kind of chill. You're just like, oh, I just got to worry about this guy. And then there's a little asshole in the back. Um... Oh my Christ. Yeah, that was all right. Let's get our blood for blood up. Woo, dog. The fuck was that? You know what I mean? There really should be an in-between rating for Elite and Common. Yep, I agree there. A lot of enemies where you're like, uh huh. Or anything good? Nice. Not bad. Like, look at this. We're somehow healing. Fuck. Fire potion's actually quite good. Like I said, armament is really good. Um, wow. If the enemy intends to attack, gain three strength. 
Two situational. Cleave? Pretty interesting. Um, but I feel like if anything, it's going to be armaments. But I don't think it is. Yeah, but I think I think spot weakness is a trap because we're going to get it on turn one. I don't want to use it. Yeah, cleave would have been great before this line boss. I agree. All right, what do you got? Okay, well, trying to sell me on that. At the start of your turn, lose one HP and draw a card. That's kind of a thing we do right now. The end your turn without block, gain six block. Probably never going to happen. Hmm. Well, first off, we need to remove a card. It's going to be a regular strike. The second thing we do... Maybe bandage up. I don't know, maybe not. See, I like having money to buy a relic. Ori Calcum's pretty cool, but I don't know how this works with Metallicize. You know what I mean? And I feel like we'll probably always have block laying around. Um, or he will proc with me. Okay, so that's nine. That's interesting. But again, that's not really that's not an ideal situation. Um, I think if anything, it's bandage, but I don't think it's anything. You know what I mean? What a waste of money if the proc hit 10 times just pay for itself. Yeah, unless you get it on sale. <laughs> and I was gonna, I was just about to say 20 damage is a lot of damage. That's a lot of nuts! Uh, well. Ugh. Okay, so we have a lot of things we want to upgrade, right? Uh,. Metallicize, we definitely want to upgrade. We definitely want to upgrade armaments at some point. Is that point now? I don't know. We want to upgrade limit break for sure. Demon form. I think limit break's kind of the most overpowered thing to be upgrading right now. It would probably have been smarter to upgrade demon form, but we're going to get the chance to do both. Reason being, yep, okay, this is an excellent case in point. In a turn with demon form, we're not doing anything else. Like, we cannot afford to do the shit bastard shenanigans that we want to do. Um, like, to, for example, play armaments to upgrade demon form. So, that's probably the better play, but that's okay. I think this will be uh, just fine. Uh, yeah, I don't actually need seeing red this turn. I usually like playing them when I get them just to exhaust them out of my deck, but it actually has zero effect for me right now, so. so for... Yeah, Hex is annoying. This guy's really annoying though with his strength gain. But we also gain the strength, dude. Grab. I think Flame Barrier is going to be good next turn. I just got a feeling next turn we're going to need it. We can do. I had a feeling. I just, I had a feeling. Okay. Um, you're dead, which is nice. Metallicize does... Oh, fuck it. Enough. What a weird little build. I, I love stuff like that, right? It's fun when you have the, the fuck builds. And you're like, how do I make this 
combination of garbage where I started doing this and these are good and I started doing that and these are good. How do I make that all work together? And the answer is usually not well. We try. Upgraded headbutt. Uh, could be a thing right now. Could be a lot of a thing right now. Actually, with our strength, twin strike... Because I think each each strike gets the bonus damage, right? Uh, but I, I really do like grabbing cards from our discard pile. Especially when we can grab Limit Break. <laughs> so potentially just, yeah. Entering through a series of tombs. We face a large sarcophagus studded with gems in the center of a circular room. You cannot make out the writing on the coffin. However, you do notice black fog seeping up from the side. You can become cursed with writhe. 50% chance? I'll take it. I've never failed to get that. I'm using Lee Comet, so 25% less HP. Okay. Missed out on that pummel? Oh, I see, I see. Oh. Hello. Okay. Demon form it is. Every time you play 10 attacks, gain an energy. Nice. Every 10th attack you play deals double damage. I fucking love Pen Nib. For the re Heavy Blade! We have to, right? Wow, Fire Breathing, too. Um, Not really our thing, but it is a very fun ability. I think we have the Heavy Blade. Strength affects this card three times. So if we have 9 strength, well, you do the math. Um, words not contain colorless. Nah, fuck that. I think it's Pen Nib Heavy Blade. Remove card. And I think it's an... You have a fair amount of block. I think it's just another strike, though. Just get rid of this, because we got the headbutt somewhere the fuck else. That's good. I feel good about our, our little combination. Yeah, I can imagine Prism being good. Well, that's shitty. Um, you know what I want to do here? And it's 100% play Demon Fool. Then we get shit wrecked. Uh, although, we've got time to heal if we want. Uh, I, or we play it safe. Yeah, I think we play this one safe. Block all the damage. Should have bought the Pantograph. Yeah, no, I, I agree with that, Bard, yeah. Uh, do you see Demon Form turn one a lot? Definitely felt that. Cool. Nice. Okay, cool. Um, I think we upgrade Bash here. That's pretty funky fresh. Alright, not too bad. Sucks we don't have a flame barrier going into this turn, because we knew that was going to happen. Uh, but the cool thing is, Heavy Blade's pretty good here. Oh my chunky bitch. I like you. Searing Blow, no. Clash, not quite. No, not Carnage either. Sorry, game. You can't trick me into that. Let us upgrade... What is this number? Where did this number come from? Who thought that was balanced? We are a quote saving bot? We should add one. Um, I stopped looking in the Twitch bots, but I definitely feel like I should. Uh, yeah, that's a heavy blade. Hey, Capizzi, what's up? Heavy blade got a buff? Yeah, sure did. But your HP is at or below 50%. You have three additional strength. 
Yeah, that doesn't combo well with us, but I'll take it anyway. Uh, so, again, greedy bitch in me says, I want to upgrade... What do I want? Probably armaments. It's pretty strong. Free body slam, but I, I think we go for the ruby key. Because what is the ruby key? We don't know. But I think that looks cool. We got the Triforce, motherfucker. <laughs> Strength times five. That's how we got the 26. And that's a big number. There's the old memes borrowed. Demon form. Uh, by the way, um, I don't know if you guys can see this. Sorry, my resolution might be not high enough. Uh, but if if you zoom in, uh, it is in eight. Uh, you just can't see that. So, good to know. I actually forgot we had that curse in our deck. Probably should have removed it instead of like a strike or something. I'm not sure if I had it at that point, but I feel like I did. It's a very me thing to do. Alright, let's do the card draw. See what we're working with. Let's do the battle trance. Yeah, okay, I like this. This is the play. This is 100... Oh, do I have to kill the orbs? Or do we just focus the big bitch? I fucking hate shit like this, because I'm like, I don't know. Okay, well, let's do that and grab our, uh, lemon drink again. Let's get these numbers even higher! What? Oh, he stole my limit break and my combust. Holy frickety frack. Son, that is hacks. You know how I feel about hacks. Man, I... Oh, oh fuck it. Gotta get our limit break back. Battle trance? Probably good. I feel like we're gonna want flame barrier like every turn, though. Where did that 34 fucking damage go? Oh, double damage with uh And we don't have our combust either. What a shitter. Uh, he's dead, though. Because he's gonna kill himself on me. Bitch. Nice. You doubt my power? Time for limit break. Heavy blade. Sorry, uh, could I get a... Sorry, I'm, I'm not reading this correctly. Is that 154 fucking damage? God damn. Let's just take that back. Just bring that back. I want to see that number again. This shit got easy. Sorry, um... Let's, uh... Just a little bit of card draw here. Uh, maybe pump these numbers up. I'd, I'd like to see Bash. Okay. Unfortunately, not gonna work. He is immune. So, we'll just have to drop down that. Fat 169. How they kill that 999 HP Oh! We can't do two limit breaks, right? But anyway... Uh, Elite drop an additional relic when defeated. Interesting. On pickup, choose and add five cards to your deck. No. When you die, it heal fifty percent of your max HP. Do we fight elites? Possibly. We could possibly fight one elite. Sure. I mean, if we fight one elite, it pays for itself. Oh no. Oh yeah, we don't actually... This is the first time I, I don't get screwed by a Time Lord. Oh, that's the perfect elite to fight. And a shop. But then another elite. Ugh. We need a shop. Here's a shop. Ugh. Is there any other shop? Really? We really need a shop, though. I want to remove this. Well, we don't really need one. I would like to remove this curse, though. Uh, that said, it's an 8, and turn 1 is not a bad turn for... Oh, yeah, we can start here. Whew! Bullet gouged! Lose your tail and auto win? I don't like auto win. Sounds like something a babyish. Yeah, I thought demon form was an 8. I don't know what happened there. I'm annoyed by that, actually. Survive. The 
two thorn bastards are going to be a little annoying, but we'll figure it out, right? Um, I guess technically we Artem Artemis blood for blood. Lost his minion cup demon form in the fight ended. <laughs> oh, I'd be fucking livid. I didn't take the you can't heal, right? No, so we can heal before the boss is good. Uh, the reason why I say that's good is. Had to be you. Shit. Is, like, Time Lord scares the fuck out of me. It, that fight can go bad on so many levels. Now, we don't actually do any cheeky stuff, and we don't tend to play many cards, because a lot of our cards are... Oh, it's already... It's already stupid. Uh, I think... No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I want to play a defend or something, though. I just don't want to draw my other limit break. Or any of those other cards. Wow. Why does Body Slam just straight up get damage from your strength? That's delightful. That's fun. I like that. Hmm. Yeah, I like the fact that... Body slam can just do stupid damage. Yeah, two defense here. Nice. Oh, I love that regen potion. Oh, wow. I really like upgraded flame bear. Yes. I don't think there's any other cards we really want. But there is something... Oh, okay. We're not safe. Okay. Entrance is interesting, but we don't have any way to keep block in between turns. Oh, no. Um, well, here's the thing, actually, Yanks. Hear me out. I don't think mirrors that good. Okay, I think mirrors good. I don't think mirror on demon forms that good. Because in theory, it's like, oh, cool, we're getting three more strength a turn. But really, what we want to do is like mirror the limit break plus. If that makes sense. Because we can use this three times before we use the energy of a three energy demon form, which it is a whole turn. You know what I mean? I think really that's more of the play. It might even be smarter just to get a second heavy blade in the deck. Um, because that's what we do. Uh, but like removing Writhe here is pretty good because innate and our first turn is kind of a kind of a big one. It's kind of our, our big turn. There's a few things we need to get up and running. Um, another headbutt, you know, it's interesting. There's a lot to be said for headbutts. Very good for cycling. Because if you think of it, assuming headbutt appears later or at the same time in the deck as something like Limit Break, a headbutt is a free Limit Break, if, if that makes sense play this turn very safe. So we start many of our turns. Oh, you bitch. It's gotta be the burn guy, huh? Alright. I think we actually do combust this turn.
Uh, let's go grab our... We got a lot of good shit coming up. Let's grab another headbutt here. Yeah, head, headbutt the headbutt. Save it for when we need it, you know? The benefit of doing that is it actually takes cards of our discard and puts them in the draw pile so we're less likely to get all those burns that are going to suck down the road. This is actually a pretty, pretty shitty little turn here. Take, taking some damage. This is one of those, like, too little too late moments, unfortunately. Um, like, we can't demon form now. Toss one card, draw three. Interesting. None of that. A walking traversing through the chaos of the spire. Oh, yeah, we want to fight boss from Act 1. Hell yeah, we do. Yeah, that bottled thing? Yeah, bottled. Is it bottled lightning or bottled fire? Bottled powers. Bottled, bottled class. Something like that. Um, not the greatest turn one I've ever seen. Alright, we got some good damage in. I got a pen nib coming up. Goop spray. It's annoying. Okay. I think what we do is we're going to Heavy Blade here, then Headbutt the Heavy Blade. What you're seeing now is an Ironclad Deep Form, and this is what is known as an Ironclad that has ascended above an Ironclad limit break. And this is to go even further beyond! Yeah, I love it. That's 100% what it fucking feels like. What do you have for the game? Yes! You think I give a fuck game? You think I play by your rules? Bitch. I mean, with Combust, I should have attacked this one, but I wanted to, to flex on it a little bit. <laughs> this thing mocks me by not defending, by not attacking. I don't even need Demon Form. It's good, though. Highly recommend. If you can get a demon form. Yeah. yeah. Case in point. Have one. Probably use it for shits and gigs. Cool. Alipers. At the start of your turn, lose 15 rather than all your block. Fuck, nice. Okay, that would have been excellent to have Entrench for, but it's fine. It spills in infinitely until you can't count anymore. Oh, it splits infinitely. That'd be funny. I mean, it splits the half health, eh? I get it to zero. Well, this is what I'm talking about. Starting with that demon form, it's good shit. Um, it's good wholesome shit. Tentacle kills your last run. Tentacle kills, uh, yes. I've n I don't think I'm, no, 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 I've probably died to Tentacle once. But Tentacle usually ruins the rest of my run. You know what I mean? Like, directly doesn't murder it, but Christ, he's an asshole. Um... I think here I would like Flame Bear. It's pretty, pretty nice. I'd you know, go throw the size up, get Flame Barrier back. 
Yeah, he. D but the ten damage is flat, if I remember. Like it just it just straight up comes off, right, or something. Anyway, get this going. Ooh. I think we have to flame barrier. Cry about it. Um, maybe we just don't limit break. That's that's some chunky damage. Yeah, that constrict is so annoying. It's all right. We can work around that. Jesus. To be fair, it, it does come off your block first. If it didn't do that, I'd, I'd probably hear me raging more than I do. No. Our mint's plus, though. It's pretty cool. <sighs> need more. Okay, uh, what are we upgrading here? Is it the second limit break? Maybe? Um, maybe armaments plus. Right? I feel like that's pretty good. A lot of things would just make slightly better. Seeing red? True, that does give us like a pretty dirty turn. thing too is like there's a lot to be said for doing body slam because with the strength gain it is a free attack if we have any block that's bonus um seeing red is pretty sweet though on some turns i don't usually feel like i need the extra energy of seeing red like one energy sure two maybe not uh, i think it's armaments I think it's Body Slam. I think I really like having that zero cost card in there. I lied. Okay, we're going with that. Oh, what the fuck? Giant Head. Uh, I forget what you do, Giant Head. Remind me. Alright. This is an interesting first turn. What is that? Plus one slow. Whenever you play a card, he receives 10% more damage from attacks this turn. Oh. Oh, he receives. Oh, okay, that's cool and interesting. All right, I like that. Four. Okay. So we got we got to get beef. We gotta get beef bad. Okay, case in point. Seeing red doesn't do me a ton here. Fortunately. Probably won't even play it, to be honest. Perfect. That's good. So what we do here is we headbutt, we're going to take our heavy blade back, we're going to shrug it off, get that heavy blade, we're going to body slam, and then we're going to slam a jammer. There's some damage. That's what you want to see. Okay. Okay. It's a little scary, but... What did you do before? Um... I think it might be too late for Demon Form, because this guy has to die right now. Whereas Vulnerable is like a lot more damage we're doing on. It's a little too late, I think. Okay. I see you. I see you. What does Battle Train say? This is, a, this is a big turn for us. Yeah, 
Okay, not bad. Tick tock, tick tock. Get it, buddy. Get it. Okay. Not seeing we got a little shit on here, but. Got a little shit on. We got pendant next turn. Probably draw our heavy blade and he dies. But this got sketchier than it needed to. Or blood for blood. Sorry. Sorry, 248 damage? Fuck it. Whenever an enemy dies, gain it one energy and draw one card. Whenever you rest, you may add a card to your deck. Cool. Just 2 HP delete and damage. Whirlwind. I think we might heal here. Because if we go for the shop, we have another elite. Which might be suicide. But I think, yeah, we rest up, we'll try for the second elite. Uh, none of these. Pick an attack to start each combat with this card in your hand. Not really, to be honest, not really what I'm crazy about here. Might be headbutt, just in case we draw something fun. Or you can always start with Heavy Blade. Uh, that's fun! Oh yeah, Bash is pretty good. The thing is, I think it might be start with Heavy Blade, because you know Heavy Blade's always in your discard. You know what I mean? So we can, like, headbutt it any time we want. Um, and I think we want to... I mean, I really would like to take a card out of my deck. Probably a strike, realistically. Um, so I, I would love to head up here. Do this series of encounters. Because if we survive the elite, we get two relics. Bueno. Um, I, I know these elites are pretty nasty, though. And then we also... Like, that that's so much greed, though. But then we can heal here and heal here if we need to. Otherwise... Less fights going this way. <laughs> this is potentially a bad idea. Hey, greed is good. What you got? Whenever you play three or less cards during your turn, draw three additional cards at the start of your next turn. Yes! That's pretty good. Yeah, but how often do we play three attacks on a single turn? It's not that common. I mean, Dexter's is great. Hey, Zelda, how you doing? But like, you know, I think Pocket Watch though, because we usually only play three cards in a turn, realistically. Okay, let's look at an average turn here. Uh, an average turn, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have a seven attacks and a 24 deck. I don't know, then our two headbutts, right? So nine. We're probably playing two, two and a half a turn. You know what I mean? I think Pocket Watch makes sense. Because reliably, I am playing three cards. Especially, um, this is great for getting our engine up and running. Which is one of the scariest things we have going right now. I'm sure normal people so late night stream happening. Yeah, hey. Wait, are you going to stream after the selfies? Or, oh no, it's fucking late as all hell. What am I saying? All right, everyone, cross your nuts. Oh, it's my favorite. Well, time for the fuckening. Uh, battle trance. 
Oh, that's possibly the worst we could have ever drawn. Uh, that's a little bit GG, actually. Hmm. Wow. Wow. That's bad. Uh, okay. We gotta cycle back to get our whole, uh, vent. Yeah, like, that's pretty shitty. Truth be told. So this turn, we can't actually do anything to this guy because he's, um, material. Right? Because it reduces all, or intangible. It's all damage to one. Um, we can upgrade. Ash. Get three vulnerable on him. That helps. Uh, and then we just need card draw because we need to get through these these hands. You also notice we lost both our flame barriers on the turn that were not. Yeah. Oh, I shouldn't have played. Oh fuck! I played played myself. I don't know. Okay. We're, we're definitely fucked here. Yep. Uh, wow. I think... To be fair, though, this was just terrible RNG. Like, we could not have drawn every hand worse. Uh, which is the problem with this fight in general, I say. I think he's a pretty shitty uh, fight. But, it is what it is. That sucks. We had a pretty good thing going. Fun. What? I've already unlocked this. And I've seen Shovel before. That's fucking weird. Lizard Tail? Yeah, Lizard Tail, we still would have died the next turn, probably, though. He ramps up pretty quick. Oh, that sucks. But it is what it is, guys. Uh, that's it for me. I'm Audi 5000. Oh man, there's nothing nothing shittier than like, oh hey, do you want to draw all of the worst cards every hand? Sure, yeah. Okay, he's not going to attack, so you draw all your defensive cards. Okay. Well, now he's immune, so you draw all your attack cards. Okay, that's fine. You know, whatever. We'll take it. <laughs> it just sucks. <laughs> but yeah, take it easy, guys. Have a nice night.